Okay, if you've opened this lesson with the paint pot tiny db template, you should be looking at this interface and these blocks. So we've got button handlers for all of the color buttons as well as the wipe button. We've got a reset button handler over here. We've got a, a minus and plus buttons that increment the size of the dots that are drawn. And we've got our two canvas event handlers, the touched and the dragged. What we don't see here is the camera button and the camera component. So I'm going to, and even though some of you have done that, I'm going to review that before we see how to make the photos we take persist from one use of the app to another. So to begin with, I'm going to add a camera component. That's a non-visible component. I'm going to add yet another button. I'll put it above the wipe button. I'm going to name it button camera, so we'll distinguish it from all the other buttons we have. I'm going to put camera on it as its text. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to the blocks editor and program that button. So when button camera is clicked, what we want to do is take a picture. And so as we'd expect, that would be a function of the camera component. And very nicely, we have a purple take a picture block that will take a picture. Now, when you click on that button, therefore, the camera component will be called up. And you'll be looking through the camera viewfinder, and you can take a picture. After you click the picture and decide to save it, then the after picture event would fire. And you want to capture that event and take some action by using the after picture event handler. So what we want to do is we want to set the canvas's background image to the picture that we took. So we're going to look down here for a setter block. We want to set the camera's background image to this image that was taken with the camera. And that will cause the image to be shown as the background and then we can draw on that image. I'm going to uh, demo that now. Okay, as you see, I have um, the app running on my tablet. Let me click the camera button and take a picture. I'm going to take a picture of this happy birthday balloon. And when I click the check mark there to say I'm happy with that picture, that picture will become the background picture on my app. Okay, so that works nicely. However, notice what happens when we restart this app. So if I quit out of here and if I try to connect again, when I restart the app, the picture I took is gone. Okay, so we want to persist that picture. We want to save it so that the next time I run the app, I can use that same picture. So in order to save the picture, I'm going to use a tiny DB component. This is App Inventor's simple database component. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into storage. I'm going to drag a tiny DB. That's also a non-visible component. Notice it has no properties whatsoever. What we want to do now is when we take the picture, instead of just setting the background image to it, we want to store it in the tiny DB. So let's get the tiny DB component out here. And we want to store that picture's value, that image's value, in the tiny DB. When you store data in a database, you need to give it a tag or a key by which the data can later be retrieved. This tag has to be a, a piece of text. So I'm going to give it the tag picture. And what I'm going to set the value in the database to is the image that I took. So in addition to showing it as the background image, I'm going to uh, save it for, for the future in the tiny DB. And this tiny DB will persist on, uh, with, along with your app as long as your app is on the phone, as long as your app is packaged on the phone. So OK, I'm going to collapse some of these so I can show you this next step. All right. So the next step is how do we get back the picture that we took when we restart the app? And for that, we're going to have to use the screen components initialize block. So this is a block that will fire once when the app is first started. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our database and retrieve the image that we stored there. So we're going to get a value out of the database and we're going to set the cam set that value to the canvas's background image. All right? So we could do it this way. We could simply set the background image to the value we get when we give it the tag. It has to be exactly the same tag that we used here. So we, we, give the, we tell the database, I want the value associated with the picture tag. That should be this image. However, if the image is not there, in other words, if this is the very first time we started the app, uh, then we're going to get nothing back. And this is the value we would get if the tag wasn't there. So what do we do in that case? Well, in that case, we have to set the background image to something. What should we set it to? If we set it to the empty string, it's going to be empty. There's not going to be a background image there. Well, let's go into our media drawer over here and remember that our kitty was the name of the image. So I'm going to put kitty.png there. We'll set the background image to that. This is the very first time we are running the app. Okay, so let's test this now. Okay, so as you see here, I'm running the app. I restarted it and it put up the kitty picture because being, the, the, being that this is the very first time we've run it, we don't have any image or picture stored in our database. But let's take a camera picture now. And this time I'll, do the, I'll take the same picture of the balloon. I'll save it. And it's now set that to the background image of my canvas. I'm going to now quit out of the app and I'm going to reset my connection and test this again. So this time what we should see when we rescan it is that it's going to put that image we saved to the screen. There we go. Okay, so you see it's retrieving the image that I saved in the database and, and making it the background image for the, uh, for the canvas.